Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to take you through the uh, the creation of uh, purchase invoices into the system or purchase order into the system. So for you to do that, uh, the first thing to confirm whether we have that supply in the system, so you go to the vendors, it's good to confirm before you do any transaction, you confirm whether you have that account in the system. Because if it's not there, uh, then you'll not be able to uh, to do that uh, transaction. Okay. For example, in our case, we have created uh, an account we call uh, George, which is a functional consultant account. So we can search from here whether we are able to see. And you can also confirm uh, we have that uh, account for this uh, consultant. So I want us to use this uh, account to do... To do a purchase uh, a purchase order into the system so for us to do that we will go to we will go to navigate uh, then we'll be able to to do those uh, purchase orders into the system purchase order into the system uh, then i'll be able to click on you so once i click on it the system will be able to populate for me the information relating to that uh, uh, specific uh, consultant let's say uh, we are paying something like uh, audit service to this uh, consultant. So under type, you have to select it's a GL account. Then I will be able to select uh, that account. The first thing to confirm whether we can uh, we can confirm whether we have that account into the in the in the chart of account. Uh, as you can see, we don't have that account. So we can go back to the chart of account and create that uh, uh, that account. Let's go to the chart of account. Uh, we create that account for the audit services. Uh, let's check where we are going to create it. We can create it under the administration expenses. So as you can see, the last account used is this one. So I'm just going to copy the number. Uh, then now I create new. I click on new I populate I can say it's uh, zero one uh, then I call it uh, audit services then it's an income statement account account category it's an expense uh, then we also have the the account type it's a posting account uh, then after that I'll be able to save but the system is auto saving for you so you just click on go back uh, then we proceed now with our with our transaction which is creating of invoice uh, so we go to vendors we search our vendor here uh, our vendor is called uh, Dale. so we click on that account uh, then we click on navigate this is an easy way of doing a uh, transaction it uh, reduces the work of selecting now uh, which supplier into the system so it's good to go to that specific account you open it then you click on navigate uh, then you click on uh, order uh, as you can see this was our order we did finalize with it uh, so what we are selecting is basically the how did service account as you can see now we can see the how did service uh, then under the description will be able to state it's how did service for uh, for the here for the year 2022 can say that then quantity is basically one for the audit uh, then now we indicate now the total amount we can say it is uh, 10,000 can select the tax group you can say it's non-taxable then after that we also have these other other reporting lines they are called dimensions so if you want to map that specific expense to a certain dimensions for for reporting purposes you will be able to to assign at that point uh, then after that you'll be able to send this document for approval 
we'll be able to send it for approval so we have this functionality of sending for approval so that it can go for make a checkup purposes so once it has been approved meaning it has been released you will be able now to post it into the system remember this is basically a booking of now these are uh, invoice into our system from our consultant the consult consultants are shared with us the invoice so we are just documented it in the system so uh, then now we have the vendor invoice number which is basically now the invoice from that uh, specific uh, consultant you can say it is invoice uh, 002 uh, that way this one it will be used for uh, for the purpose of uh, of tracking the information then after that you'll be able now to to post into the system we can receive and invoice or you can just invoice we have different functionality for example if we are buying something like a, like a fixed asset or something like an item consumables we'll be able first to do a receive we receive those goods into a store after that we'll be able to go ahead and do an invoicing so for you to click on invoice it means uh you are creating that liability into the system so that you can proceed and do the payment but now i want us to combine those two we just receive an invoice so you click on hit the system is going to post as you can see uh, it has already posted the transaction into the system and uh, this is the transaction you can also print and also issue it to, to your consultant uh, for confirmation purposes this is the invoice as you can see uh, pay to uh, these uh, consultant then down here we have the information description what are we paying it's audit services for the year 2022 and this is the total amount So basically that's all about the invoicing uh, of uh, suppliers or consultant into the system. So we can go back to the consultant account and check what has happened. So we can go back to our consultant account. So consultant, they are basically under vendors. Uh, then we can search our consultant account here. It is this account. So I just click on hit. So once I click on hit, we have the the 360 view uh, so we'll be able to confirm the uh, the balances the balances as you can see here uh, this is the total amount which is basically due for for payment purposes yeah so that's how you are supposed to invoice uh, your supplier uh, into the system so what is pending is basically now to do uh, something we call a uh, uh, supplier payment uh, which is basically a simple transaction into the system uh, the way we have done uh, for the other accounts it will just be uh, the same into the system so we just go to navigate uh, then we just make a payment journal uh, then you populate the document number uh, we have said this one is key uh, we can say it's PV001 payment this one is to be used for tracking purposes you also have the external document number you populate the invoice which was uh, uh, which you have received from the supplier to confirm, it, to confirm that it has already been paid uh, then now you populate your you populate your supplier here uh, which is basically uh, the consultant uh, the consultant yeah that account uh, then we also have the recipient bank basically if we had the bank account for this uh, consultant it will be auto populated here automatically the system is uh, diligent it will be able to populate for you uh, then after that uh, we also have the payment reference so we'll be able to document at that point uh, then uh, we can populate the amount now we want to pay maybe you can say we are doing a prepayment of something like three thousand 
get win a prepayment of 3000 uh, to uh, to that uh, specific uh, that specific uh, client so you'll be able to uh, to select at that point then after that uh, you'll be able to to post that uh, transaction into the system but before you post we have this print preview posting uh, basically to confirm the account to be affected it's good uh, to do a print preview of for any transaction you are doing to the system basically to confirm the account to be affected before you do now the real uh, posting into the system so after that you'll be able now to click on post as you can see our journal has already been posted so if we go to our to our consultant account you'll find that we have a balance of uh, if we refresh it is going to to show us we have this balance as you can see we have already paid this amount uh, to that specific uh, consultant so the system it will be able to tell you the balances as per certain date into the system so that's all about the the supplier transactions you can also confirm on the ledger entries what we have already posted into the system as you can see or this type of transaction so you'll be able to confirm at once as you can see we have these invoices and the uh, payment we have this invoice these are the payment we have done already uh, relating to that uh, specific uh, uh, supplier the other thing is on on the report we have the hedged account payable reports so you'll be able to confirm uh, uh, the hedging analysis of your customers basically the suppliers uh, so you'll be able to confirm uh, from this point as you can see uh, this is the hedging analysis report for this uh, specific uh, client yeah. and another type of report which you want you'll be able to get the system is quite uh, just a lot of reports eh? and uh, those reports can be customizable so you'll be able to customize those reports the way you want to fit you so i will end at that point the next session will be checking on the fixed asset management after that you'll be able to check on items uh, then you'll be able to confirm on the next if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.